I need to run an errand up the street and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to take Miss Lainey, the cocker, out for a car ride to practice her car manners. So before every car ride, outing, walk, I always start my dog on place for a few minutes at least until they are totally calm. Then I get them off with a recall and I usually do a down stay or a sit stay with the door open. We've been hanging out here for a little bit and she's been a very good girl, staying nice and calm. And now when I open door, we're gonna see what she does. If she stays calm and waits for direction, I'll say H-E-E-L and we'll start to walk out the door. If she anticipates being released or going out the door and starts to head that way or stands up out of her down, I'll say N-O, tap, close the door, open the door again and reset until I can open that door fully without her assuming we're gonna go. So it seems kind of time consuming, it seems kind of tedious because it is, it's why we're getting paid. Uh, but it really does make a huge difference with your dog's expectations by squashing that anticipation and stopping the anxiety at the source. So we do these downstays, we do place before walks and outings because it sets our dog up with a good tone of calm, focused mindset. So don't skip this step. She looks up, she's interested, she knows what's going on. She's looking to me for direction and not just assuming. Very good. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Laney. Break. Whoa. Good job. Down. Good job, honey. Very nice job. Look at that tail. Very good. She did a great job staying in a heel the entire walk down to the car. When we got to the car, she automatically sat down and waited. I was able to open this door, have the door wide open, and she did not assume or anticipate anything. She waited to be told when she could jump in there. Very nice job. When she got in there, she lied down automatically, and I hope that she keeps that down stay the entire drive. But if not, I have a way to look back in the rearview mirror See her getting up, say N-O, and tap. Remind her to down. Very nice job. All right, she did a great job with that down stay for the entire ride, over the speed bumps even. Very nice job, honey. Now I open that door. She knows to stay in a down until I call her out. So I did that. If I grab this leash, what is she going to do? She waits. Very good. I see a lot of people, the moment they open that car door, the moment that they grab the leash, if the dog stays when the car door opens, the dog will bolt out. That's because dogs thrive on patterns. So when you pattern, open the door, let them jump out. Open the door, let them jump out. Or grab the leash, time to go. Grab the leash, time to go you're actually patterning in poor choices. So when I grab that leash or open the door, the dog should look to me for direction instead of just assuming things. Good girl. I'm gonna call her out and do a sit. Come. Good girl, sit. Tapped right there, got me a sit. Very nice. Shh. Corrected right there. Good girl. So I always have my remote in my hand when I'm doing these exercises. Good girl. This lets me close the door. Now we can heal to the door. Heal. Very good. 